Hello, so we are back in this time with a proper nice repair, yeah? So what you see here, all heatsink, it's actually a mini PC. So this is an Intel Nook 12 mini PC. And you can see it's all heatsink. I mean, I love this design, fanless. I mean, this remind me, reminds me of my old power supply, no fan. Only heatsink, big heatsinks, yeah, but no fans. Just to understand, this is completely silent. Now, what's the problem with this one? Okay, here comes the interesting part. Let's check the customer email. So the customer is saying, hi, sorry, and I really appreciate your YouTube channel. I think I have bricked my Nuke. It's a Nuke 12 mini PC with 20 volts, 6 amp charger. And I plugged 19 volts, 8 amps, DC-DC converter, and there was a pop sound. Now it won't turn on with a normal charger. Mike. Okay, so uh, basically the customer email made no sense. Instead of 20 volts, 6 amps, you plug 19 volts with 8 amps, and uh, the customer heard that pop. Doesn't make sense, you know what I mean? It doesn't really matter. Matter when it's less, but not when it's more. I mean, you can connect 19 volts, 100 amps. Nothing, it will happen. The PC, it will work still fine. But everything comes more clear now after I receive the job and I receive the customer letter. And uh, now it is making sense. I mean, the customer, the damage is due to reverse polarity. Okay. So now it is making sense. So I'm curious, can we repair this? Mm -hmm. Reverse polarity, it does the something else. It doesn't have nothing to do with the amps and uh, basically being 19 instead of 20. Let's open this PC quickly and let's try to have a look inside. Something pop up from what the customer is saying. The thing is, uh, uh, um, uh, fuse, it will not pop up, pop up. So what the customer heard can be an electrolytic capacitor or something worse, like a MOSFET. Okay, and lol. We have access to the PC. So here on the top is the hard drive. Let's take out the hard drive. And the hard drive has a small ribbon cable there. Good. Now this is a proper nice mini PC. Huh? Even the M2 drive has a, like a solid heatsink here. Cool, let's try to take the motherboard out. Lol, check there. So probably the CPU is straight on the on the heatsink. Proper nice. Let's take the motherboard out. We have here a few more screws. Good. So we took out the the Wi-Fi antenna and the front panel. And now the motherboard. And the motherboard is out. We have the the isolators, let's be sure we are not losing them. So here we have a nice CPU and those are uh, thermal pads. Here, this, this is like a proper PC, like a proper laptop or really, really nice. Uh, let's have a look. I mean, even the CPU, you f probably you will think, okay, probably they cut down uh, the components from the motherboard. But check here how many phases this CPU has. Like performance-wise, this should be like uh, same like a desktop PC. Desktop PC, not a laptop. Desktop PC. Just because this big heatsink. Now, the customer plugged the charger where? Here. Yeah. And the customer heard a loud pop. It is something there, but let's check under the microscope. So what is that? Huh? I think that's the component which made a loud pop. 
So that's a diode special there in case the customer it will reverse plus or minus. Let's check with the multimeter. Checking with the multimeter. And we have, we have, check on the screen, zero ohms. You can see. So this diode protect probably the computer. And now it's not short anymore. Yeah, you see, every component has their own role here, even this protection on the charging port. I mean, whatever this diode was, like a normal diode, or Turner diode, or TVS diode, whatever it was, uh, it protects the computer. Now, it's not short anymore. The question is, the computer is working. Mm -hmm. So what do we need in order to test this uh, mini computer? We need a heat sink, yeah. That's something what we need. Good. Heat sink, yeah. Present. Here. We need the power supply. And this is like a classic Toshiba uh, charger or uh, connector. Like this one. So connecting this to the PC. And 70 milliamps. 40. Uh, this is not a good sign. This is not a good sign. 40 milliamps. Where is the power button? Here. Pressing the... It is coming on. That's crazy. Let me plug the HDMI. HDMI, present, let's switch to microscope, it's taking like two points, something, it's working, we have picture, that's crazy, and it's loading the windows, and we have the, the, yeah, you know what, the, the PC shut down, because of the heat, ha, ha, ha. Can we do something about that? Yeah, we can. Let me use some heatsink here. Yeah? Yeah, this SSD is metal. More metal means better heatsink. So pressing the power button and it's not coming on. Lol. No, because uh, the computer shut down because of overheating, right? Yeah, plug in the charger. Pressing the power button, it's not coming, it is coming on, yeah, it is coming on. Let's check one more time, just to see the Windows loading screen, yeah? And we have the Windows loading screen, yeah? So it's all working fine. Proper nice, huh? Proper nice PC. When you think, actually, this is like a full-size PC. Wow, this is proper hot, the heat sink. Can we replace this diode? It's tricky, yeah? It is tricky. So what I'm going to use, I'm going to use uh, sodium paste, 140 degrees uh, solder uh, paste to lower the temperature here and here. And we can solder another diode. It is tricky. Because uh, this little board, probably it will suck the heat badly. So here. And here. Perfect. Yeah, perfect. Check here. So I can easily solder another diet. Yeah, definitely. 140 degrees. Really simple to work with. You know, you have this here. It will suck the heat. Perfect. So all good. Perfectly clean. Good. Let me try to find a diode. Diodes. Diodes. Yeah, here. Yeah, look. Here. Here is a nice diode. 
Let's see. Yeah, this one. Yeah, it looks like a proper calibrated diode, yeah? Let's remove the diode. Perfect. Here and here. Perfect, yeah. Now let's move this diode. Good. Yeah, with 280. Lol, where is that diode? What I'm doing here? So this diode... It was like that, right? No freaking idea. Lol. Let me stop the video and let's, uh, let me have a look how the diode was. Okay, so that diode, it was with a plus on the other side. So you're right. Every time, you remember I told you, every time you decide, okay, you have a working, you remove the capacitor, you have a working device, or you remove this shorted diode, right? You have to think, okay, so if I solder back that component, it will still work. Because sometimes it's risky. Like see on this case. I remove that diode and I can't even solder back because the airflow is too high. Okay, let me lower the airflow to like 40%. Good. Now let me try to solder this diode one more time. Like that. Good. And here. Perfect. So the diode is soldered properly on place. Yeah, it is solder. It is solder. Yeah. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, good. Now let's test it one more time. So any heat sink? Heat sink? Good charger or power supply, uh, power supply, and it's not short, sure, that's good. Pressing the power button, and it is coming on. Let me plug the HDMI. HDMI plugged in, microscope. Well, let's see if we have picture. And yeah, it is working fine. Good, and it's loading the windows. Perfect, perfect. Now let's put it all back together. Now let's put the board back. And we do have picture. Fantastic. So it's working fine. I'm uh, happy I helped this customer. It was an interesting repair. So, uh, some devices, but not all, they have this kind of diodes as uh, protective diodes against, against the reverse voltage and uh, over voltage. It is a good idea. Reverse voltage, yes, like fitting a normal diode. But to feel like an over voltage diode on a laptop, that's tricky. And we've seen that on the past. You remember the HP, which uh, they are going dead just because of that diode and the customer using a copy charger? Yeah. So I will say uh, thank you for watching. This is a proper, beautiful computer. Really. I mean, whatever temperature you feel, that's the CPU temperature. Yeah, proper nice. I will say thank you for watching, you know, just like, subscribe if you like the video, and see you on the next one. Bye.
hey, if you find my content being helpful, don't forget you can support this channel by pressing the join button and you can get instantly access to our uh, members only cool collection and uh, Discord private channels for support with your repairs. Also, you can have a look on our uh, United Kingdom uh, eBay, where you can find some cool and unique products. United States eBay store or our Patreon page. Thank you.